It's not going to be a big wave for them, but it's a big wave for us. Welcome back to Heart Gold, Soul Soul, and Soul Blue Cluster. Yes, it's been a very Episode long time. 39. Since, we, since we recorded. It um, the, 2022 now at the time of recording. Yeah, it is. The 9th of January 2022. It's a whole new year, Baba. In the, in the last episode, I think I took on Janine. I beat Misty, I think. We, did, we didn't bother checking before we started because we were just like, right. I did, but like, I, I probably skimmed through it just to see where I've got up to. And Missy was in, Missy's battles in it, so I'll be Missy. And, as far as I'm aware. And just before the, <laughs> just before the recording started, I was having audio yeah. issues. Oh, as always. Yeah. We can't, we, we can't have like a recording session where anything goes right. Come on. Especially with this game, Jesus. I know, it's just like every time. Right, Zatu, you're pissing me off. Go. <laughs> So, I think last episode I was going down to Fuchsia via the east like, road. Oh, I'll, that way. I'll meet you there. Well, I was, but I'm not now. Oh, I've gone back to sell them. Selfish. Going down your way. <laughs> well, it's because I, I didn't know which way to go, so I was going that way, but I'm basically, the whole episode is me going to be fighting trainers. Yeah, so yeah. So I've basically gone back to sell them to fight Eric and get her back, then I'll go down cycling road to Fuchsia instead. Yeah. I figured it would be a better way. I need to get to, um,. Oh, Maylene's in the eat, uh, the cafe in Celadon. Oh yeah, she is. Sinner. Yeah, from Sinner. After a strict diet during training, I can eat like a hip powder. <laughs> Say so. And they're like, oh yeah, she's the best. Like she's she's eating us out of house and home or something. And you're like, is she? <laughs> oh. Eating us out of existence. She just ate a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'm on the east side of Fuchsia. And <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and that's the end <laughs> so of that. That's the end of that. Uh, I think the last episode I beat up Janine and now I'm uh, on my way to... F I need to fight Sabrina because I was doing them in order. Yeah. I wasn't in. Sabrina was dead hard when I fought from my room. <laughs> oh, yeah. But oh, why is she so difficult? I mean, I could just... You know what? I might just like... Stroll on up there. Strolling on up. <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. In the original side, this gym is great. I get to curve on women. Uh, I get to oh, yeah, rub sprinkles. one off outside the gym. Speaking <laughs> <laughs> <Thick> of sprinklers. <laughs> <coughs> Con uh, bone, yeah. Uh, how how uh, times have changed since the original, like red and blue and gold and silver. I know what it's just like. Just ah, misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> Old man misogyny. Just, it, it was a style at the time. <laughs> yeah, it really was. It's just like, no. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> even though we're at, like four minutes into the episode, yeah. Um, my team is Sherwood, Escar Joe, Man Ray, Whirligig, Gemini, and Truffle. And I'd completely forgot about most of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I, I'm remembering mine. We've got Bonio, Laya, Lorena, G.I.O.C. G.I.O.C. <laughs> Dundee, and Deobite. Oh, yes. So that involved two of them. So I need Horridonzi and uh, uh, the last one. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get to Jim. I know that I hate her Jim in this one. It's really confusing. Yeah, because you don't know which bits to go out sideways on. It's yeah. Like, oh, you've just got to keep bumping into things. Right, I've walked into Sabrina's gym and my first battle is against a Bronzor, and I hate fighting Bronzors. <laughs> Why, Andrew? It's all, all on flicking the dice. Oh, well, it just did skill swap and took water absorb away from me, so <laughs> I've got to switch Pokemon again. <laughs> I've got to confiscate that immediately. <laughs> Is it, is it 
Pop it. It's off. Neutral um, fire damage? Is it immune to ground? Who knows? Find out. Find out next time on Tengoku Bazaar. <laughs> Oh, the state of, like, I don't like what they do with, like, Mammoth Swine from the back. I know it's just, like, basically a mound. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, even in, um, Gen 6 onwards, it's, it looks really weird from behind. Yeah. The, mound. Yeah, it literally just looks like a mound. It's, all I see is, like, the top of its head and one of its eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's him, all right. It's like when they did... Magna zone, and instead of having it like at an angle or something, you just see like the top of its dome. <laughs> I see like a little, a little dome with a screw poking. It's just oh, like, great. oh yeah, thanks, that's great. Really appreciate that's that. Him I'd recognise that screw anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, j uh, what's it called, Jasmine Wood. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> not from not from the face though, from the bum downwards. Uh, <laughs> from the bum down. <laughs> I just realised as well I left my, my hot gold layout on, on top of the layout, but that doesn't matter because it can shift anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's like mine, it, the layout will go over the top of that, so... Because you always turn it off and it's the one thing I forgot to do and I was like, oh... Oh, it's fine. Oh, what a shame. Oh, Psychic Franklin. <laughs> Finn. <laughs> Come to Finn, what do you want? We protect her again, we're going to protect her. Yeah, you said that to... Oh, they've got their own giraffery. A giraffery of my very own. Oh, can I have a victory well by blue combo? Oh. Daniel, let's come up with a question of the day. I'm pretty sure we've already asked who would you pick victory bell or bioplume, so let's go with a different one. Yeah, that's us, really. Yeah, I'm having vague recollections of us being like, victory bell, you're a gem. <laughs> you're a gem. I'd like to recruit you to my agency. For victory bells. <laughs> well, Vileplume yeah. just like dies like it does on um, Stadium, or whatever it is, where it just basically compresses to the floor and then farts. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> it just sort of, like, do. deflates on the floor and then like one of the petals on its flower goes. <laughs> <laughs> <at the> end. <laughs> it just zooms around the screen like a bloody balloon of air. Like. Oh, why did fly miss? For God's sake, she only fly me if you got light here still. <laughs> still just absolutely know, diabolically the, useless. The only fly move I've got is uh, fly on Manti. And I like it, we, we just like broke all like conventions and we're just like, yeah, we can fly on these. <laughs> we're we're going to break the game to fly on these. The game's already broken. Yeah, the game was already no broken choice. to start with. We just added to the spice. We were just like, yeah, fuck it. We're, we're, I want to ride a Gam Mega. You want to ride a mountain through the sky? Yeah. Just shooting water guns at the ground to get propulsion. <laughs> yeah. While I climb inside my young mega, it's an attack helicopter. <laughs> it's dying, but doesn't. It's like, get inside. I was going to say, it should pick, like you, a... pick you up like, um, you know, like a, a helicopter that um, has the things underneath, like the claws. Pick yeah. things up and just picks you up like that and like wraps its legs around you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to take away from all this. <laughs> ah, proportion. So really, like, oh, I can't, I can't use um, Man Ray in this gym because every time I've like tried to attack something, it's either done something ridiculous like skill swap, mm -hmm. or they've sent out a water type. Oh, classic. Sending out slow bros, but then I'm like, oh well, the next gym is Blaine, so <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> oh, Blaine. Eh? Medium Darcy, though I read you, I still lost. Alright. What? what? That's what she said, Daniel. Oh, I found Sabrina sounds, somehow. That's <laughs> like bollocks to me. <laughs> oh, look, there she is. I'd always remember when I played that gym, I'd always like, I think I did it this time around as well, where I just had going in and out of the teleport and teleport everyone. Yeah. I was just like, oh no, you know. I knew you were coming three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival, you're out of my gym badge, I only enjoyed battling, but it's my duty as a gym leader to confer badges on anyone who's proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish, I'll show us psychic powers. Alright, okay. Why is Sabrina's like design like the one that's changed about 50 billion times? 
I know, they love, they love fashion Sabrina, don't they? Yeah. Fashion icon Sabrina. Oh, it's a, an Espeon. Nope, cheeky. Oh, it's using Calm Mind, that's not a good start. <laughs> oh, it's, it's focusing. It's gone. <laughs> Man's so calm. I mean, I think they had to change it from the original because she was basically like a dominatrix. Yeah, they love giving people whips in general. Yeah, they did because oh, I found out why the other day. Why she had one? Well, they all like most of the trainers had one. Also, because it's like they were like, oh yeah, animal taming. <laughs> I do. I got. I, yeah, because the one of them literally was an animal tamer, wasn't it? Yeah. Like they, they were like a tr trainer type that was in like Giovanni's gym. Yeah, and it was just, like an animal. And I go one day like had one. Uh, Sabrina had one, like, uh, the yeah. cool trainers had them. Um, yeah, but they, they said originally, this is from, um, I think it was, you know, like, Dr. Lava, what it was called. Yeah. Um, that it was because they were going to use belts as, instead of badges. Mm. And the belts were going to be, like, whips. So it made sense of like the like when you got a badge, it's like, oh, this Pokemon now obeys you up to this level. It's because you got like a belt that, that. I like a like a, a right. martial art belt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I was just picturing just like a leather belt, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just thrashing you with it. Andrew Paris has used the tracks on me. <laughs> oh, has it? Well, Sabrina's beating the shit out of me. <laughs> Who wouldn't fall in love with the face of a parrot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now spoiled me. God's sake. I'm in love and asleep. <laughs> Just in my Where's real life. <laughs> I know. This is a More dream, like Daniel. I'm in love with being asleep. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, right, yeah, Useful. This Espeon set of one card mine, and it's basically like one shot in most of my Pokemon. That's all he needed, actually. It really did. And then I got his down to low health, and then she recovered it. So it's just like, oh, well, great, oh, thanks. Oh, for piss sake. Right, we'll get, get in there. You, you can't do shit to it, but it's fine. This bird's gonna fly. Unless I use quick attack. <laughs> oh, yeah. funny enough, Espeon's faster. <laughs> of course. Why is this going wrong? Of course. Why is this? Oh, cause it's our, it's our first day. That's just use that excuse. It's our first day back recording Heart Gods all over. We're a little bit rusty. Bop, bop, bop. And the game knows it. It's like, oh, well, oh, this is what you have for leave, leaving me for months on end. Yeah. I'm just going to stack the deck against you. Mantine, you have ridiculously high special defense. So why is, oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, whatever, you don't have to listen to me. <laughs> Just dead, dead on the floor, of course. <laughs> God's sake. Come on, take it out. Oh, for God's sake, this is like the third Pokemon I've fought in this gym that survived with one HP. Sick baby. Really annoying. Um, right, Gemini, come back. <laughs> Please. Come on, this go on. Don't you fucking dare heal this SPM oh, again. Oh, they use Ancient Power and Go on, boost my stats, they did. Hey. <laughs> Carnivine. Oh, Carnivine. Well, there's a blast Flat from trap. the last series past. <laughs> it's here like, who are I'm here to clap your trap. <laughs> Try and ring me out. <laughs> ring out such a weird move. What have I got on Gemini? Oh, Shell Bell. Right, okay. It's about to send an Alakazam. Well, I'm not prepared for an Alakazam. <laughs> not prepared for nothing. Alright, Escar Joe come out. <clears throat> you're I like not... you, you did well. You're not going to be able to do shit to Alakazam, but... <laughs> that's that's the sort of confidence boost you need, Andrew. Yeah. I'm going to set up Hey, you're not worth shit right now. I wonder if potions are still... I mean, I've got a North, but... Oh, that's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage still, but... Ooh, a tank to Psychic from an Alakazam with Escar Joe. <laughs> nice. And a burn it. <laughs> oh, and what's it got? From you. Oh, it's got Citrus Berry. 
They always have citrus berry, don't they? Just come in like, mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> you're like, no, stop it. Stop like, it smack it. it out of its hand. No. <laughs> burn it. So it's there it's on, like on its spoon. It's like... Just knock its spoon out of its hand. Stop that. <laughs> um... I don't know who's going to be helpful here. No one really. Because I haven't got anything to deal with psychic types very well. <laughs> As I've realised, um, very uh, my thirty-nine episodes in. Episode in, my in. <laughs> absolute crutch when it's come to side yeah. types. Just because what was it? Oh yeah, my fight against Ho Out. Yeah. Because all its moves were crap on. It didn't affect me at all. So it was like it just couldn't do anything. Oh, that was a throwback episode. <laughs> yeah. Sandra, how have you been? Oh, I've been like, great. 15 minutes into the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I've been fantastic, Daniel. I am. Um, been... you say. How nice. <laughs> Erica, stop talking over Andrew. Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> so, I've been fine. Ah, Jota, you say. <laughs> I've been training myself for flower ages. Andrew, that's just what you'd say. <laughs> I had my first banana daiquiri last night. Did he didn't stop talking about it? Yeah, because he stopped drunk off it. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was alright. Well, that's not what your, what your tweet said. It was fine the first two sips. And your the... tweet was like, "I'm never drinking anything else again." <laughs> <laughs> it was fine the first two sips, and then Don't classic mom just put like pepper in it. Or whatever. She didn't put much sugar in it, so it just tasted like, oh, classic. all I could taste was just like a hint of banana with lots of rum. And I was just like, all right, that was great. <laughs> so Andrew, famous for his love of rum. <laughs> I was like, for God's sake, mother. But then like, when I was talking to Richie, it was like, oh yeah, it's supposed to have like coconut milk in it and all this other stuff. And mom just didn't put any of that yeah. in it. So it was just like, well. No, she was like, bananas, alcohol, that's a daiquiri. I was just like, ah. Oh. I, I had a ba banana without the uh, a banana die. <laughs> oh, did you die? Without the curry. <laughs> <laughs> without the curry, she did probably add that to it as well. <laughs> probably. A little bit of spice. <laughs> little hey, bit of right, okay, Mr. Mimestone. Herself. Miss Blood Tangle. Heard, heard Mr. Mime that's breaking all gender conventions. It really is. Mr. Mime, you be who you want to be. Yeah, Mr. Mime, don't give a shit. Oh, for God's sake, of course it had ancient power. Who did? Bonio, no, come back. The tangle. Oh. oh, yeah, of course it does, because it's like self oh, yeah, Did you know? I think we've talked about this before. In, um, <clears throat> in um, Diamond and Pearl, because they were just like, not even brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but Diamond and Pearl, because they were ridiculously, like, thinking about it, shit. <laughs> in comparison <laughs> yeah. to Platinum. Um, yeah. You couldn't even catch. Tangler. I can't remember. It was so ridiculous. Like, you couldn't even catch Tangler unless you transferred it over. Yeah. You couldn't even, like, insert, like, say, Fire Red or Leaf Green into the base of it and you'd get Tangler for doing that. You had to literally yeah. transfer it over to, from, <laughs> um, using the, the, what was it, the Pal Park or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, the Pal Park. And that was the only but way you could get Tangler so you could get Tangrover. So, well, why have you done that? <laughs> It was just ridiculous. Oh. And since our last recording, Brilliant Diamond and Shining yes. Pearl have been out. Oh god, yes. Yeah, since our last recording, that came out. We played well. We, all but compl Andy's like completed the main scenario. Yeah, I, I'm nearly there. I'm at the last gym. Yeah. I'm just like we just we just hate it. <laughs> it's like We've taken all the bad things about Diamond and Pearl, kept them, and broke the mechanics. Yeah. Like just the general gameplay. So it's like, oh, okay. Great. So yeah, thanks for that. Really appreciate it. Thanks for adding nothing to this game that needed it. And it's like, oh, but you can get some of the Pokemon that were post-game in the original, but not all of them. So if you want to use a Yan yeah. Mega, you can't. If you want to use a Glaceon yeah. or, or a Sylveon, you can't. <laughs> yeah, because they had the, the, the one of one of very few new additions is the underground has like yeah. wild Pokemon and a lot of them are like the new evolution. I mean, like but you get right horns and stuff. Yeah. It's things like that. You can get like right period. And then you can But oh. obviously they add them all. 
I thought you could surf down to um um what's it called? Sea foam. Yeah. No. Not from oh, Fuchsia. Because because oh. sea foam wasn't in the original, was it? It was like it was just broken. It was that was yeah, wasn't it there? But it's just like a landmass where you can't go into. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, oh, it caved in years ago. So how you like? Guess I'll just go down from Pallet Town then. Guess oh. I'll just go to Pal Pal Pad Town. Pal Pad Town. All oh, the sprites. <laughs> God's sake. There we go. Oh, it's going well, Daniel. If this series would be known for anything, it's the freaking glitches. Yeah. I'll forever kick myself for not restarting when it first when I first locked that the glitches in. Yeah. We were like we so were quite far look. into it though. It's because it's at Town, it happened once, and I don't think it happened again for a while, so it just continued. Yeah. So it's like, oh, one off. Because that, <laughs> until you told me after, it's like, oh yeah, it's if you, you save stakes. So just reset. That's what I, oh. I did. Because it happened in, you know, in Bugsy's Gym on my end. And then I just, and then I, I reset the game using the save state, and it was still black, and then I reset the game, and it was fine. And then I never did it again, yeah. but it's just like, oh, cameraman, come here. Oh. It was like, cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to fight a tentacle. <laughs> so feeble. Yeah, so we, we're not fans. I, I, think, I think most people are very critical towards these remakes of, of Diamond and Pearl in the yeah. cause. It's it, a real shame. It's, yeah, it is a shame. Because there's so many, there's like a lot of things that they've, they have done right, but... <laughs> but it's just like random things like they've changed like I know people don't really care about a lot of people don't care about contests no nah. but I still gave them a go and stuff in the originals uh -huh. and some people really like contests um, yeah. and then in this it's just a really weird rhythm game mm -hmm. and I don't really understand it and then randomly partway through you're like oh I'll use my move that I selected at the start of the contest yeah. And it's like, in the original, you had like the dress up round, you had the... Then you did have a dance round, but it was like you had to follow like the steps of the other Pokemon. And then they had the yeah. usual, like, appeal round. Mm -hmm. And I like doing that to then doing like ridiculous combos on... With your moves and stuff in the, in the contest. Yeah, because you could link them together. Yeah. Like I did in my Ice Time Mono Challenge the other day. <laughs> yeah. With uh, Sveal. I kept like comboing it and I was like, oh yeah, whatever. You wish you were this cute. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you could touch this. <laughs> and then it's like, you can't... Um, oh, burn it, good. You can have Pokemon following you, but you can't... Um, what's it? You can't give interviews. No, it's just like you'll you'll interact with him and then that'll be your interview. We'll just automatically just say, "Oh, I said, oh, this will be a real showstopper." And it's like, yeah, shut up. And then in like in so Gen, good. all the way back in Gen three, they had it so you could like just give an option. Yeah, it's just a little bit of interactivity with the world, and it's just like now. And then the underground, like yeah, it's cool that you can catch like Pokemon and you can get Pokemon early, like you can get Skorupi early. Yeah. Krogon instead of waiting for the Safari Zone, but then you can't get, you can't decorate your secret base. They've taken all the good things about the underground out. <laughs> the whole pur purpose of the secret base is fun of just having your own base. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like now you've got a cave and you can Put catch all all these statues you can... and plinths, yeah. but no other furniture. Why would I want to decorate a secret base with nothing? I know. But statues. Ah, I'm just gonna sleep on top of this Toxicroak Sta statue. Statues, statues would be an addition, not the fucking soul thing you get. Oh, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It all, it all feels very like, oh, we need this out this year. Yeah. It's anniversary. Need it out. They, they, they really lock themselves into a corner of that attitude because it's like, yeah, it's the, what is it? The, what anniversary was it? 25th. 25th. It's like, well, no, just bring it out next year. Yeah, it doesn't have to match. The like, problem was is that they like they wanted thing. they probably had Legends Arceus in the works for a really long time, and then they were really, yeah. then they were like, oh shit, maybe we should do a Diamond and Pearl remake. 
Yeah. And then they realized afterwards, it's like, oh yeah, we haven't got the time to do it because we're working on Legends Arceus. I know. Because Legends Arceus has been in like... the works it's, it, for at least three or four years. Yeah. And this has been done in very much a year. Just felt like I would just push it back here. I'd just like yeah. do it a year later. I wouldn't have. Just do more time in it. I wouldn't have bothered. Yeah, I wouldn't have cared. Just fucking tweak it right up. I would have been like, oh yeah, Legends Arceus, perfect. And then next year they'd be like, oh look, we've got a remake of Diamond and Pearl. Oh yeah. If you're going to do a remake, do it right. A lot of remakes are not recently because we got that and then the GTA thing. Yeah. <laughs> And you know what's really annoying? Well. Just thinking it, I'm going to double check my facts here right now before I say anything. I'm pretty sure... How do I... Actually, how do I switch it back to the Johto decks? Oh, there, it's just a switch. Okay. I'm pretty sure in this game... Yes. You... Obviously, there was Pokemon from Gen 2 that evolved in Gen 4. Yeah. And they added them to the decks. I'm pretty sure that Mama Swine is part of the of the of this Dex. Yeah. And even here, like Lickitung, there's a space after Lickitung. And uh -huh. then space after Tangler. And then after Tangler, there's Eevee. So they're all part of the Dex. Yeah. And that and this is a remake. I know. So why is why is the Pokemon not part of the Dex? That they came out in. <laughs> I don't know, Andrew. That was that pissed me off with Diamond and Pearl anyway. And it's just like, oh well, we fixed it in Platinum, so what we're gonna do? But yes, we're gonna use the Diamond and Pearl Pokedex. <laughs> I, 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 I know it's like an easy like thing to say, oh, they should have done that. But like, I do feel like if they, if Game Freak had just done this in house, then like just worked on it or like, after, or just whatever or whenever. Just, yes. Just, I don't know. I just, I just feel like you just passed it on, giving them a strict deadline, and then they've just come out like stuff like this and stuff. Because didn't they? Didn't they do Let's Go? Or they had something to do with Let's Go? I think go. so. Yeah. And, and yeah, I don't like the catching mechanics of Let's Go and stuff, but I do like the art style of it. If Let's Go, I mean, I haven't played it, but I've seen it. It's a lot more polished. Yeah. And they even, like, help. there's just, like, all these things. Like, in Let's Go, there's, like, di obviously, like, different things that happen in it. And it's basically, it's weird because it's, like, set as a, um, I don't know. Let's Go is hard to explain. <laughs> it's, like, a, <laughs> yeah. it's, like, obviously, it's a remake of Gen 1, but it's, I think it's supposed to be a remake of Yellow. Yeah. And as a remake of, but it's set in the future. Uh-huh. But also set at the time of that is of red and blue. It's really weird. Well, yeah, I think I, I feel like a lot of the time you have to like, at this point you have to treat a lot of the games sort of as self-contained things, especially when they're like remakes. Yeah. Because I know there was like a timeline, but like the more remakes you do, the more obviously. Oh well, they they, the, um, they removed the t when did they remove the timeline? It was like Gen then, five. They removed it. Yeah. Because Gen four had a timeline. Gen four was at the, it was just after. Started just after Hug uh, uh, Gen Two. Yeah, because obviously it starts off with oh Red Gyarados. <laughs> yeah, and then Gen One and Three were at the same time, and then Gen Four was, and then Gen Five was a little bit into the future. I think like even in the, I think because when they've asked the creators about it, they were like oh we had like a, a loose idea that we referenced, but we never really stuck to it. Yeah, it was just like we'd reference things in a specific way, but obviously you can't just stick to it otherwise you just be a bit limited with what you can do. Well, it's like once Gen 6 came into it, that's when it fully... Like, you can technically put, like, Gen 5 on in the timeline of the originals. It's when yeah. Gen 6 came into it, and then that's when they started doing the, like, oh, well, Hooper. Yeah. So now there's a multiverse. Of course, yeah. Yeah, that's when they started doing that, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because did like there was, like, a fan one where, like, they had, like, Boras and stuff. Like an next winder and separate thing with like Mega Evolution. Yeah, because it was because it was saying that Oras is different from the original, mm -hmm. but Targon Soul Silver is just a remake of, of Gen Two, so that's fine. <laughs> it's and Fire Red and Leaf Green, they all fit in their own within the confines of like obviously Gen One and Gen Three. 
<clears throat> yeah. Oh, gem four. Two. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> but then Oras literally came out and was like, oh yeah, this is in a different timeline. I'm from a timeline that doesn't have Megas. And, this, and then even like, whatever he's called. I've forgotten his name. Doctor Who. Oh yeah, look. Yeah, look at that, say. He's just like, Doctor oh yeah, that, this is a weird place. And then obviously once Gen 7 came out, they started doing like interdimensional stuff as well. It's like, um... <laughs> And then Gen 8 came out and it was actually quite tame in comparison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven were like, oh, Ultra Dimensions and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all bloody hell. His aliens coming from the sky. <laughs> Mom Vice Code, how long? Oh, we're at 30 minutes, Andrew. Oh, well. Time flies, time, time flies when you're ranting. <laughs> when you're ranting about bad remakes. Yeah. Oh. And you know what, like, one last thing is really annoying is that the fact that the battles actually look amazing. Yeah, in, in, in battles, uh, it looks great. Yeah. It's the best thing about the game. It's just, it's just everything else. <laughs> you just, yeah, it just really fluffed it. Yeah. All right, well, join us next time, everyone. We didn't ask a question of the day. <laughs> Let's actually, question of the day, right at the end of the episode. What did you think of... Yeah, what did you think of... Brilliant, Brilliant Diamond, Diamond yeah. Champ Pearl. Oh, I just, I just spoke to someone. I didn't mean to speak to them. I was in oh. mid run. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah join us. What did you think of it? Yeah, I thought you were literally asking me that. I was like, well. <laughs> Adieu, you haven't told us your thoughts yet. <laughs> uh, join us next time. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. Don't forget to follow Dan on his social media at the Drew Gaming at Daniel's Designs. Go to Daniel's website, daniel'sdesigns.com. Go to my Twitch and follow me on there. Yep. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.